everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is me Radha here and you're watching me on my YouTube channel Traced with Vanilla Girl. So today I have come up with my May monthly favorites. Uh, basically in this video I'm going to share with you beauty products and makeup products which I've loved using in the month of May. Now since I have so many of them to share with you without wasting a second, let's get started with the video. Starting with the skincare, the first product which I rediscovered in the month of May is this Lacme Youth Infinity Skin Firming Facial Foam. I was not wowed by this product initially, but it, when I was towards the end of finishing my first uh, bottle, I really started uh, loving it for the cushiony foamy cleansing it gives without drying out my skin and um, I feel that the face wash is extremely exhilarating and a gentle cleanser beside this I love the pump packaging and it looks classy with lovely violet accents yeah so this is my first favorite my skin is behaving really erratic and this started uh, somewhere in December 2015 I started uh, breaking out over here in my cheek area on my t-zone but on the sides of my face I started developing dry patches so I started looking out for a serum or a moisturizer which hydrates my skin without making it too greasy or at the same time hydrating it sufficient enough to counteract the dry patches that I was developing so uh, I discovered this product that is Vichy Aquaria Thermal Dynamic Hydration Serum this is a lightweight serum which gets absorbed really fast it hydrates my skin and doesn't disturb the natural pH of my uh, skin cells so yeah I highly recommend this in case if you have sensitive combination skin this is my another favorite from skincare from month of May since summer is going really high in my part of the world, I tend to develop a greasy layer in my scalp and in the roots of my hair. So to counteract this greasiness, I've been using L'Oreal Fresh Dust Techni Art Dry Shampoo a lot in the month of May. This not only cancels out the greasiness, but when used from a distance, it adds uh, good volume to my hair also. And uh, this is a really good uh, handy dry shampoo, which does not leave any white powdery residues as well. So so yeah, I really love this. Recently I got my hair colored and after that I started developing a lot of uh, dryness especially in the nape area of my scalp and a uh, lot of tangles in this region plus the ends of my hair they got really dried so I was suggested uh, this Schwarzkopf uh, Bonacare Hair Therapy Light Finishing Treatment Oil Miracle this can, be, this can be used on dry hair as well as on wet hair even when used on dry hair it won't weigh down my hair at the same time it moisturizes the dry hair ends as well as when I just apply it on the back um, uh, hair roots over the nape of my scalp it moisturizes them tames out my dresses and make them tangle free so highly recommend this product in case if you have dry hair another favorite from my shower is a slush dark angels which is a face and body exfoliator gum cleanser uh, I this is how uh, this looks and I usually take a small amount of this product in my hand mix it with some amount of water and then apply it all over uh, my face in a very gentle way, gentle way because this is a rugged exfoliator you can also use it on your body on back of your arms on your knees and uh, on your uh, feet on your heel area if you're looking out for a good exfoliating action since this is a rugged exfoliator, I will not suggest it using on active acne, uh, but this offers heavy buffing in case if you are looking out for a good exfoliating action. Besides this, it has mild uh, citrusy notes which look, which feel really refreshing in the morning when I use it. So yeah, Lush Dark Angels, my another May favorite. What scrubs I got recently introduced uh, to this O3 Plus Milk Scrub. This arrived in my April NV box. Uh, what I have not tested it for the whitening claim as such but what I love the most about this product is the consistency which is somewhere between creamy and gel it spreads on my skin really easily the particles in it are well rounded to give gentle abrasive action and it lifts off superficial layers of uh, dead skin to reveal a younger looking skin underneath so yeah this is an, another favorite and I'm really happy that I got introduced to O3 plus through NV box Another product I got introduced to by Envy Box is this Island Kiss Beauty Berry Blush Lip Moisturizer. This is an oil based 
leave conditioning formula which gives beautiful berry tint uh, on lips that will show up even on pigmented lips and at the same time it hydrates it can be used as a uh, cheeky tint also the base of the formula is derived from cocoa butter and avocado butter and it is enriched with extracts of raspberry strawberry the the formula is a paraben free and the mild sweet flavor is due to the stevia in the uh, formula so uh, i will highly suggest you checking out these uh, lip balms and I think berry uh, lip moisturizer is the one which is best tinted of three uh, lip balms which are launched by the brand. My top fragrance from the month of May is this Forest Essentials Body Mist Nargis. This is my top favorite fragrance and I have been using this bottle since last couple of months as you can see that I'm almost on the verge of finishing this up. Uh, this is a moderately um, strong uh, body mist which though doesn't last long but the scent which is predominantly floral with leafy undernotes is extremely refreshing and rejuvenating uh, especially in this heat I usually go for lighter floral fragrances and forest essentials body mist Nargis fits a bit highly recommend checking this out on to makeup favorites I have picked up two products from the Maybelline fit me range which is recently launched in India first being Maybelline fit me concealer and I'm in shade medium this is considered to be the drugstore dupe of NARS creamy concealer I have not used it so cannot comment on it exactly but I find that formula the formula of Maybelline fit me concealer is very creamy it spreads easily on my skin uh, with this doe foot applicator that comes in the packaging and it blends up really nicely giving up medium to high coverage and once I set it up uh, with Maybelline Fit Me Pressed Powder which is the second makeup favorite it hardly creases on me and lasts for a good amount of time roughly for six to seven hours and then this is second makeup favorite uh, that is Maybelline Fit Me Pressed powder set plus smooth and this is meant for normal to dry skin uh, this powder has got very light coverage on its own but it has got very fine shimmer that gives really illuminated finish whereas the shimmer is barely detectable on skin as such beside this i really love the double case packaging that it comes with it has got one handy mirror that comes really uh, handy while traveling and the case to store them sponge buff which I have lost of course it's not here as of now on to eye makeup my first pick is this faces eyeshadow crayon and the name of the crayon is she has got the looks this is a lovely blue colored uh, eyeshadow crayon the packaging is versatile the product can be used both as an eyeshadow as well as a liner it sets up really fast and lasts the whole day long on me, smudge proof and fade proof. And the color itself is so unique and so pretty. I cannot think of duping this color with any other blue eyeliner uh, from Indian drugstores. Another favorite from eye makeup is this Makeup Revolution Eyeshadow Palette Death by Chocolate. I've got both of these chocolate sisters, I Heart Chocolate and Death by Chocolate, but I happen to love Death by Chocolate more, little more. Uh, as you can see that this eyeshadow palette is the lovely assembly of 16 gorgeous neutral brown dobby plum shades and almost all the shades they blend really well, show up nicely, doesn't crease much, there is no major fallout. We get two highlighter shades and you can create beautiful smoky eyes with the dark shades in the palette over here and then subtle brown shades even the look i'm wearing today on my eyes the makeup i have used uh, four matte eyeshadows from this palette all these eyeshadows have got peppy names i have got the detailed review of this palette on my blog already with different looks that i have uh, carved out using this palette so i'll put the link in the info bar below you can go and visit my blog for more details on this palette Another product which I loved using most uh, from Makeup Revolution in the month of May is this Makeup Revolution Vivid Bake It Highlighter in shade Pink Lights. I was really scared when I saw this lavender tone baked highlighter. Uh, though I love these wavy patterns in which
which it is set up in the pan um, but I thought that this color is not a right color tone for my skin tone I should have opted for something more golden or champagne um, but what I realized is that pink lights when used on um, face it blends up uh, on my skin giving almost a translucent uh, finish and the shimmer in the particle is understated so uh, you can use it for uh, day makeups also and yeah this is my another uh, favorite on to the lip products I have picked up these uh, five lip uh, products and the foremost one which I loved using most is this faces a time pro matte lip crayon in shade peach me 08 this is the one which i am wearing right now this gives you lovely velvety matte finish doesn't feel dry on lips but i still suggest exfoliating your lips in case you have dry chapped lips uh, the shade itself has got beautiful earthy tones which will complement indian skin complexions and yeah so this is my uh, top favorite lip product Another favorite from lip products is this Maybelline Baby Lips Candy Wow in shade Raspberry. I have already reviewed this on my blog and uh, you can see how it looks on me right here. If I put this in comparison to the previous baby lips, the smaller baby lips uh, we had earlier, I was not able to find any major difference in the formula. Um, as far as the tint or the moisturization part is concerned so yeah they are pretty much same but then jumbo pencil packaging always looks attractive and more appealing so third favorite pick among lip products for the month of may is this maybelline color sensation lip gradation coral one and coral one is gorgeous um, coral shade which will look pretty on fair to medium skin complexions I would have loved to pair it with black and white outfits so the fourth pick among lip products is this sugar matte as health lip crayon and I have picked up Mary Poppins as my uh, favorite color from the month of May this is a lovely fuchsia pink color and the packaging as you can see comes uh, in a jumbo crayon kind of packaging which needs to be sharpened and this color is really pretty that can be paired up with flowy white purple pink outfits for your evening parties and last but not the least favorite is this l'oreal paris extraordinaire lip color and this is julian pink the name of the shade is magnolia this comes in this uh, liquid gloss kind of packaging with a sponge applicator though this shade is a bit too dark for summers but i loved wearing this shade for its uh, vivid uh, violet wine undertones especially in the evenings and uh, night party so that was pretty much it guys i hope you enjoyed uh, watching my may monthly favorites don't forget to push the like button if you really like this video and if you're a new viewer then do subscribe to my channel and i'll see you soon in my next video bye